Okay, here we've got a question on volume equations using algebra. This is the Firth Maths GCSE Level 2 exam paper. Um, now, we are told some formulas for volumes on the front of the exam paper, or just inside the front cover. So, always remember to have a check there to see if they're the ones you need. Um, the sphere of radius x centimeters, so the volume of a sphere is three, 4 thirds pi r cubed, where r is the radius of the sphere. Hemisphere has a radius y centimeters, well that's the same as a sphere, except for it's just half of that, because a hemisphere is half a sphere. Um, the shapes have equal volume, work out the value of y divided by x. I'll give you your answer in a form, blah blah blah. This will come more apparently as you get to the answer. So, let's just start with... Um, the volume of the sphere. So, um, the sphere is going to be equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed. Now r is x, so that's x cubed. The hemisphere is going to be a half of 4 thirds pi y cubed, because this time the radius is y. Now a half of 4 thirds pi y cubed, well that's just a half of 4 thirds which is 2 thirds pi y cubed. Now we want to work out the value of y divided by x, so um, because these two are equal, um, the volume of the sphere and the volume of this hemisphere are equal, then we can say 4 thirds pi x cubed equals 2 thirds pi y cubed. And we want to have y divided by x. So what we need to do is, well, the first thing we can do is get rid of a few things. So let's get rid of these x's. So this, sorry, not the x's, this pi. If I divide both sides by pi, that gets rid of the pi. If I times both sides by 3, that gets rid of the third. If I divide both sides by 2, that gives me that. So we've got 2x cubed equals 1 lot of y cubed. So if I want y divided by x, let's do y cubed divided by x cubed. By just dividing by the x cubed. And then to find, the, find what y over x is, I need to take the cube root of both sides. I've got the cube root of y cubed over x cubed equals the cube root of 2. So the cube root of y cubed over x cubed is just y over x is what we want. And the cube root of 2 can be written as 2 to the power of 1 third. Okay, now that's why they want it in this form a to the 1 third. So the cube root and the square root be to the power of a half, cube root to the power of a third and so on. So um, the cube root is 2 to the power of 1 third. So that's our answer, 2 to the power of 1 third.